What's up, guys? We're off. Lindsay Brands Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Army Men Air Attack 2. And, uh, boy, howdy. Um, I remember this mission, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, if I, if, if I remember correctly. We're using the batteries to power the bulldozer to the green base. Be careful. Tan units will try to do the same. So, I'm going to use Hardcore for this mission just to show you him. We're probably going to immediately go back to Woodstock, but... So yeah, we now we have a new uh, new helicopter, the Chinook, which for some reason has better arm. Well, it makes sense it has better armor, but better weapons than the Cobra, which makes no sense. The Chinook is a cargo helicopter, so we're gonna use it. It's a new Hela. Why not? I, it makes sense it has better armor and winch because it's a cargo helicopter. But I don't know why it has better. Weapons. Control units are trying to deliver a newly discovered toy bulldozer back to Green HQ and need your assistance. Supply power to the bulldozer by providing it with batteries found in the area. Yeah. Be careful, Captain. The can have their eyes on the bulldozer too, and will attempt to steal it for Von Beige. Yeah. So it's gonna. We're gonna need to grab these. Drop the batteries onto the bulldozer. And you have to actually drop it. You can't drag it over, which is supremely annoying. So, that's what Hardcores does. But it looks like we have some kind of, like, cannon, essentially. Like an auto-cannon, almost, on this thing, which is nice for our uh, helicopter ammo. So... I didn't really find... Hardcore's ability all that great when I played back in the day as a kid. Um, probably for good reason. The Chinook itself, though, I did I do remember enjoying. So, Unless the bulldozer stops. We need to find a battery somewhere. And as you can see, when you use Hardcore's ability, it doesn't just use one of your co-pilot ammo. It uses multiple, because it shoots multiple. So you can accidentally burn through your ammo real quick, and it's quite annoying, actually. When you accidentally all of a sudden have no ammo. I can't grab this battery, which is supremely annoying. There we go. And the little dot on the map that's like tan, I think is uh, showing you the location of an enemy helicopter that has a battery. That's trying to steal the uh Bulldozer already has power. Wait for it to run out. The bulldozer. Is there a battery over here we can use? Yes there is. Yeah, you see we're like already bleeding through our co-pilot ammo really quickly. For delivering this battery to me. Come on. That might be the last thing we need there. Sniped. There we go. Uh, not bad, college boy. We just might reach that tan factory in one piece after all. That wasn't too bad. We might do another mission in this episode, as long as it doesn't break. <laughs> Which it might. Because, you know. Blade secures bulldozer. Yeah, let's run another mission. Let's take out the tan factory in this area. Our newly acquired bulldozer will clear the way. 
So we're going back to Woodstock because he's the best. And we'll keep using the Chinook. Because it, does, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that we're using a Chinook as an attack helicopter, but, you know, whatever. Okay. I got the dozer from here on out. What say we plow that factory into the ground? Yeah. I'd say that sounds pretty freaking sweet, man. So as you can see, now they're deploying uh, some Apache-type helicopters, it looks like. Yo, Sarge, if you want to hurry up with that bulldozer any time today, it would be fantastic, man. Yeah, I like how we attached rocket pods to the bulldozer. Actually hilarious. Okay, yeah, we're just going to do that. Just get that out of the way immediately. Oh, right, this. So the enemies don't actually shoot you when you're, when you're camouflaged, which is really funny. They don't know you're here. Actually supremely useful. Yeah, we basically created, like, a calliope <laughs> with our bulldozer. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Come on, Sarge. Oh, try to dodge that, and I failed horribly at it. I'm beginning to think that this game was maybe not designed for somebody to just rush through it like I am. Maybe designed for, like, children who would take a longer time. Just a thought. Uh, and for the record, no, I never actually played Army Men Air Attack 1, and I never really played any of the other ones. I know that there's, like, Sarge's Heroes and stuff, where you're, like, actually on the ground and stuff. Never played any of those. There's also the RTS, which I might actually check out at some point, because it kind of sounds goofy and funny. That's a big base. We're spamming. A lot of enemies. have so much supplies now. Spam it! Spam it! There we go. <laughs> All you gotta do is just spam like hell. Woodstock is so OP. So if you collect this, this reverses your controls. Yeah, very uh, not great. Do not collect that. Why that's an option for you even to collect? Who knows, man. Anyway, now we just gotta wait for Sarge to get his slow ass over here. Should probably stop calling these guys in just to die, huh? Might be a little bit mean. Can you hurry up, Sarge? 
Anytime like this millennia, with your like Magak Hydra that you have over here. Pan factory destroyed. Well, I guess. So far, so good, eh, Captain? Yeah, well, we haven't met the Baron yet. That's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, you are crazy as a bike riding fish, man. If he show up, you can't have him. I know worries, Captain. I'll watch the crowd while you give him what for, eh? Thanks, Hooligan. But I don't yeah, Hooligan's one of the other co pilots, if I remember correctly. Sky. Hey, you know, if he does show up, well, I know you can take him. Well, of course I can. Hey. You're not nervous, are you? No. Not with a top gun like you in the lead. Yeah, thanks for showing us. Oh, it broke. Damn it. Oh, no. Wait, we're good. Thank you for showing us green plastic army woman cleavage. The 13 year old, or like the. Not even 13. I got this game when I was really young. I don't know, like 9, 10, 11. The 9 to 12 year old in me really appreciated that, uh, if you could believe it. <laughs> But that's going to have to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying this silly little series that we are doing. Next time, we're going to be playing a Beauty and the Beast. Find and pick up either Sarge or Vicky and fly them to the radar dish. Use the walkie-talkie to locate them. Hope you guys enjoyed.